I'm Dominic Stevens. This week we've had the first official cash rate review of 2013 and it was certainly an interesting one. As expected, the Reserve Bank did acknowledge the uh, low level of inflation, the high exchange rate and the weak labour market and it softened the outlook for inflation accordingly. But the Reserve Bank reiterated that it expects to keep the OCR at 2.5% at least on account of the, uh, its concern about rising house prices. Now the Reserve Bank's got two concerns about, about rising house prices. One is that they could stimulate consumer spending and stimulate the economy in an unbalanced fashion, uh, in which case they, they would just increase the OCR to counter those, uh, those problems. But rising house prices within an already overvalued market also creates the risk of a housing downturn in years to come, which could destabilise the financial system. If the Reserve Bank felt that that sort of thing was becoming a risk, it could resort to the use of macro prudential tools, which are basically uh, regulations designed to uh, encourage banks to lend less to households. Now, the, the overall uh, statement was slightly more hawkish than we were expecting and, and than markets were expecting, so wholesale interest rates rose on the day. But the Reserve Bank's change of view around housing is certainly something that we support. We've long been of the view that, that house prices will not cool on their own, that it's actually low interest rates driving this market, and that uh, as interest rates are expected to remain low through 2013, house prices can be expected to keep rising. Our long-held view is that rising house prices combined with the Canterbury rebuild will provoke inflation pressure requiring a tightening of monetary policy. So we continue to expect that the OCR will rise in December, first rise in December of this year and that the OCR hiking cycle thereafter will extend far further than markets currently expect. Talk to you next week.